Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is a Friday, November 11th. It's week 11 in college football, and this is the Into the Weekend with Bet DSI show that we do every week. We talk with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI Sportsbook, about the notable action he's taken each week. Brent, let's get right into it. The first game I want to ask you about is uh, Michigan and Iowa, right? The Sharps, uh, you've told us in previous weeks, have not been afraid to uh, bet heavily on Michigan as a big favorite if they sense that, uh, that it's a game where Michigan's just going to steamroll, and this line has gotten bet up. From the open, opened at 18 and a half. Now it's up to 21 or 21 and a half market wide. So I could easily see that as an indicator of uh, maybe early sharp action. It came in on Michigan, maybe 18 and a half, 19, something like that. Is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, it was around 18 when the initial hit started coming, but it wasn't so much anything particularly sharp. Just okay. people who were firing, you know, a couple of dimes at a time on, on Michigan all the way. Um, right now, I mean, with that line did climb all the way up to 22. We got kind of like, you know, a respectable bet back the other way, so it dropped back down to 21 and a half. Uh, that's what, where we sit right now. Um, I think if you look at, you know, the wager count on this game, it gives you a better indication of, of the line movement. Uh, are, we're talking almost like three, four to one, the wager count in favor of Michigan. So, um, you know, re- respectable money, I guess, uh, who drove it up. But again, like I said, we took money back that was respectable in the plus 22. So nothing, no list guys involved in this as of yet, no sharp money involved in it yet. But like I said, I do have a wager count, almost four to one favoring Michigan. So that's kind of, you know, why the line movement went the way it was. Again, they're a road favorite. 21 and a half points at Iowa. I'm um, seeing a little bit of movement on the on the total as well. Just gone up from like tw- uh, 50, we went up to 51. I think it was took a bit back down. Um, nothing sharp involved in that yet. Uh, kind of respectable money on, on the initial bet on the over 50. So that's where we're kind of trending towards the over there. I wouldn't see, be surprised if this one went back up to, to 51. But uh, on the total, you know, nothing. No list guys involved in the total. Uh, the side either. Uh, my count on the total, no surprise. Almost like six to one favor in the over. And again, you know, people are, who are you know, public guys who are looking at Michigan minus. 21 or 21 and a half. People have no problem going over a 50 and a half or 51. That's for sure. All right. And then another uh, game and with a, with a team with a similar profile is Louisville. And uh, we know that, uh, that there was that one week where the Sharps uh, did come in on Louisville as a huge favorite and then they got burned. But then the next week Louisville came back and did get a blowout win and covered as a big favorite. And this, this line also against Wake Forest has gotten bet up a bit. It opened 31 and a half, 32, 33 at various places. Now it's up to 34 and a half or 35. I don't know. That could have been sharp action as well, right? Brent? Yeah, I mean, you know, it seems like every week we're, we're talking about Louisville for one reason or another, uh, whether the public is, is hammering them or the Sharps are going against them, the Sharps are on them, the total going over, whatever it is, it seems like uh, Louisville always comes up and they're sitting there at 8-1, and one, number 6 in the, in the latest ranking and stuff like that. So uh, they're one of those teams, I guess, that seem poised to you just, you know, waiting for someone in the top four to, to lose. And they have said, basically, that, you know, any chance we get to roll up the points, we're going to roll up the points now. Public's going to be behind a team like that anyway. So yeah. the, fact, the fact that the coach is coming out and saying, "Hey, we're going to roll up the points <laughs> if we need to," we certainly will. You know, they'll they'll say, "Okay, well, I, you know, maybe I've, I was a little little afraid of laying thirty three and a half or thirty four, but maybe I'm not so much now." Um, but I do have sharp action on this game, Peter. Unfortunately, it is with the public, which is Louisville. Uh, mm. The sharp action that I took here was at thirty two and a half. So I mean, you know, we we open up there, and that's where the, we took the first hit, the first uh, you know real sharp hit. Um, there haven't been more sharp hits since then. Uh, since since going to 34 and a half, we have taken some nibbles back, but again, you know, respectable guys, not list guys per se, but uh, definitely the, the sharpest of the sharp action on this game is Louis, on Louisville, minus 32 and a half. Uh, no surprise that I've got full of my total count is just, uh, it's, I'm going to say 18, 15 to 1 on favoring the over in terms of the actual number of bets I've taken. Uh, just to put the, the total in perspective, in terms of how the public likes the total, now, I don't have any sharps involved yet, but I, I don't have a bet on the under yet. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that... Like I'm not saying like I don't have many bets. I'm saying I don't have one bet on the under yet. Huh. <laughs> and yet with, with all that uh, public action, uh, there was no sharp action mixed in there on the over. Yeah, no, not at all. I, again, my count just 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 way you know right. way crazy in terms of the over. So I could definitely see this one going up in terms of the, the number. Again, we kind of like sit and wait and see if the, the sharp's going to come in on the under or that before we make the number move like that. But I mean, it, it's probably getting to the point where yeah, we're going to start looking at this game total going over. All right, and then the next thing I want to ask about USC and Washington. And last week, Washington was a big uh, favorite that took sharp action, and the sharps got a nice winner, easy casher there. Congratulations, sharps. Uh, so obviously. 
obviously uh, the, the, the Washington is on the radar screen of the Sharps as being a team that is good, great, but uh, but not necessarily overvalued and possibly undervalued. This week, the, the line has gotten bet up. It's now about eight and a half or nine at home against USC. What's the action profile like for USC at Washington? Yeah, we took some what I'm going to call respectable money at the seven and a half on Washington at home to USC, and that's kind of what drove the line up. Um, we did go as high as nine and took a you know a decent bet back the other way, eight and a half. We took some money back the other way. So in terms of my my actual dollar volume on this game, it's actually not too bad at all. It's 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 almost balanced perfectly again, just because a couple of decent shots that I took that on on USC and I, and again respectable money on Washington as well. So anywhere between seven and a half and kind of eight and a half right now, we, we we've been okay in terms of balancing the action on this one. My money's almost dead even, as I said, like real close, real even. My wager count does favor Washington. Almost three to one, though, is, might be kind of surprising in terms of, I mean, USC is always a team that people are, you know, they have no problem getting behind because they're typically, a, you know, competitive schools. Uh, but uh, this is a case where I don't have any, you know, what I'm going to call this money, no real sharp guys involved in this one at all. Again, my wager count does favor Washington. Uh, my money's almost dead even, so nothing really to write home in, in terms of the sharps on that. Um, total as well, we're sitting at uh, 62 right now. Uh, we did take, again, not a, this guy, but a, a, a real good, you know, a real respectable customer came in on the under 62 and a half. Um, we are down at 62 right now. Uh, wager counts almost like four to one favoring the over. So the public betting the over, of course. So uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of public money on the over is no surprise. And the, you know, respectable pseudo sharp will call it on the, on the under 62 and a half, Peter. All right, but not a list guy. Those are three interesting games. Brent, what else can you tell us about notable action from uh, College Football Week 11? Uh, there's there's a lot of it, so I'm gonna yeah, bear good, with good, me. So I don't, good, I, don't, good. I, don't I don't skip <laughs> skip anything here. Uh, from the from the top again, I'm gonna try and go in rotation numbers. Uh, Cincinnati at Central Florida. Mm, uh, we're sitting uh, Central Florida as a 12 point home favorite right now. Uh, the sharp action I took on this one early in the week was on Cincinnati. That was at plus 13 and minus 05 as well on the juice. So uh, Cincinnati plus 13 minus 05 was sharp. We're down to 13 on the the home favorite Central Florida. Uh, again, we touched on Louisville, minus 32.5. Uh, dropping down to Tulsa at Navy. Uh, Navy, that line has flipped. I mean, Tulsa was a favorite, a road favorite of uh, minus 2.5. And, and right now I have Navy as a home favorite, minus 2. Again, uh, Navy in this case would be the sharp play plus the 2.5. So I have sharps on Navy. Again, they're a, a minus 2 home favorite now. And the sharps took them when they're getting plus 2.5. Uh, drop down to Colorado State at Air Force. Uh, Air Force is now a six-point home favorite. Uh, they were uh, a four-point favorite, and the line has jumped because of sharp action. Uh, minus four is where the Sharps came in on Air Force. Again, they're at home to Colorado State. That line is up to six right now. Uh, turning the page, well, at least my page, uh, to Louisiana Tech. They're at home to Texas San Antonio. Uh, Louisiana Tech got the uh, sharp action early in the week, minus 20, minus 105. So sharps are on Louisiana Tech. We're sitting at 21 and a half right now. I got a couple like nibbles back on Texas San Antonio at that point, but nothing, uh, you know, not enough to move the number back down at, uh, at all. Um, or we got uh, Oregon, Oregon State here. Oregon State is at UCLA. I got sharp action on Oregon State at the plus 12. Uh, UCLA is down to an 11-point uh, home favorite right now, but very one-sided action in terms of my dollar volume, very one-sided favoring Oregon State because the sharps are on them. Um, you know, last week I, I, I talked about there's about two or three games that I had like a couple of sharps on, and they all just crushed the number. They all did really, really well. Uh, this is one game, UTEP at Florida Atlantic. Uh, maybe surprising a game like this would be uh, didn't pegged by the Sharks, but they look for value where they can find it. Uh, Florida Atlantic minus two and a half. Uh, I took a, a one sharp bet there. We jumped to minus three. Took another sharp bet at Florida Atlantic minus three. We're sitting at three minus 120 right now, just kind of hoping to get some money back on UTEP. But uh, Florida Atlantic looks to be a, a very strong favorite, that's for sure. Uh, down to Baylor and Oklahoma. Uh, Baylor at Oklahoma line is 17 right now. Oklahoma, the home favorite. And if you paid any attention to the total of this one, you see that it's dropped quite significantly. Uh, I took sharp action on the under 81, uh, another bet on the under 80, and another. now we're sitting at 78.5. So I have two, actually two sharps and another kind of pseudo sharp, we'll call it, on the under this game. Uh, this is one of those cases where we typically get a lot of public money on the overs. Beta, we usually get over money. Oklahoma, we get over over money. So we got a lot of over money in this one, almost 3 to 1 in terms of my winter account on uh, favoring the over. Uh, money's way, way one side on the under again. Uh, uh, under 81 is where the sharpest of the sharps came in there. Um, and down to Tulane at Houston. I got another total for you there. Uh, Tulane at Houston, the total right now is 48 and a half. Uh, big drop there on the total as well. Uh, sharp action came in under 54 on that game. So 
that's a that's quite a big move and a lot of sharp action on the under there, Peter. Brent from Bet DSI, really, really appreciate your time. As always, talk to you next week for College Football Week 12. Thank you, Peter. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.